these stores lie. We are getting fruit parfaits and said it would be two for six dollars, yet the pricing on the parfaits is three dollars anyway. Three dollars anyway. Two of them adds up to six. Yeah, so I don't know what the sign was talking about. We thought it was a deal until we looked at the price. It's not a deal. It's a <laughs> lie. It's a scam. This video is for small town people. You're going to know what I'm talking about when I say it's tourist season and you know it's tourist season when tourists come into your work and they complain about the tourists. You can obviously tell they're tourists because they have backpacks and they're wearing camp shirts. Yes, camp kids, you also count as tourists and I don't care. And another thing, when you hear, when you're standing on the street walking by people and you hear girls go, oh my god, you look like such a city girl. Oh, you are a city girl. Yeah, nobody fucking cares if you're a city girl. This is life in a small town. There's nothing to do but fiddle pigeons. In the summer, there are many tourists and they carry paddles. Like, like those guys the over there. They carry paddles. <laughs> Another point, you know it's tourist season when you're walking down the street and you see some buddies and you go, hey, I wonder if they're from town or not. The only thing to know if they're from town, everyone has these nice little pills that make you feel good. Hey look, a local. I'm a local. <laughs> Another point when you know that there are tourists. I was behind a lady in Price Chopper the other day and she was like, oh my god, all these locals just stay out of our way. We bring all the money into this town and they have no money. And I'm like, what? Bitch, sit down. <laughs> balloons seem to advertise a lot of things. Apparently, balloons attract people. Tourists are people too. Yes, <laughs> didn't know that, but <laughs> apparently balloons attract them. I don't think we need any more. This town has enough people. I don't like it. This is also... This is what we call a manatee, or also known as a sea cow. Oh damn, those bags. This is also when you know it's tourist season. People wear bathing suits in parking lots for no apparent reason, because it's gonna rain. <laughs> it's gonna rain. It's, it's actually kind of raining right now. This is what we call a manatee, also known as a sea lion. <laughs> a sea lion. <laughs> These are girls that like to say words like like and OMG and talk like this because they're all girly and they're all surprised because these people have the same name and it gets them confused because their last name is almost the same too. Yeah. <laughs> Something. I thought I would take. What's a lamp for? Hey, look at that pigeon! 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 I mean. Ah! I just spilled coffee down my arm. I just thought I'd take the opportunity while walking to work to um film the downtown. Filming terrorists. I mean tourists. Terrorists. They probably have bombs all of them. Like that guy probably has a bomb in his shirt. No, oh, that's a beer keg. Beer belly. I wish I had a beer cake in my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the toy store. <laughs> Becca, people can hear you. I'm not the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> they can't see us, right? I'm not the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> you can tell the difference between earlier when it was sunny and I was filming and, and the town and now it's rainy and people leave because tourists don't like the rain. They melt. They're like the Wicked Witch of the whatever that one is off the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Wicked, Wicked Witch of the West. Ah, WWW. Where are you going? I'm going oh, well, I'm going to work.